Megan Gilroy joins us now for another edition of Health and Wellness. And Megan, it's the beginning of the month, so you must be introducing us to someone new this week. Yes, I am. For the first time, we are interviewing a man. Time for a male point of view. And our next guest is a pretty interesting guy. Once a pharmacist, Dr. Paul Malone of Marblehead Chiropractic is a chiropractor who combines both Western knowledge of neuroscience and quantum physics with Eastern spiritual traditions such as Kriya Yoga, energy healing, and meditation. His mission? To help as many people as possible get well naturally and to educate them on what he does so that they in turn can educate others. Being healthy and educated sounds good to me, so let's take a look. Why would a pharmacist change professions to become a chiropractor? And how can examining Dr. Paul Maloney of Marblehead Chiropractic's particular style of chiropractic care improve your health? Well, today I'm here with Dr. Paul, and he is going to talk about ways that we can all get healthier, stronger, and feel better. So Awesome. Yeah, great. Thank you for having me. All right. Thanks for coming. You're welcome. So tell me, what? how did you get into chiropractic care because you used to be a pharmacist? Well, it's a long story. We don't have a lot of time, but basically my wife had migraine headaches mm -hmm. and um, we tried the medical route and nothing helped. And uh, she had experience with chiropractic when she was younger. So um, she said, you got to get me to a chiropractor. And I'm like, there's no way you're going to a chiropractor, huh. I'll tell you right now. But I always say it's desperation or inspiration. And it was desperation at that point. But uh, we got to a chiropractor in Boston. And um, make a long story short, she got through her migraines. And uh, we graduated from pharmacy school. And here we are. Then I'm having some lower back pain after working in pharmacy for a couple of years. And she said, well, you got to go to my chiropractor. And I, there's no way it worked ah. for you, but it's not going to work for me. And um, again, I went to the medical doctor and they said, you have to, you know, take this pill. And I said, I can't take a pill because I'm working behind the pharmacy counter. Right. I, I need to be 100 percent. So uh, I went with the thought in my mind that it was not going to help me. That what was interesting. And it did. And not only did my low back go, pain go away, but I, I felt different. There was something, something different. Uh -huh. And I began to explore it and found out that that chiropractic really improves your function. Yep. And um, lo and behold, um, after going to the pharmacy and seeing sick people and, and going to my chiropractor's office and seeing healthy, happy people, I made a decision to go back mm. to school. That's, that's how I ended up doing it. So is the evidence of it working really made that change for you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. It was, it was remarkable, mm -hmm. remarkable. So I know I've gone to different chiropractors and they all seem to have like different techniques or styles. What, what do you do here at Marblehead Chiropractic? Well, it's a holistic approach. Um, I do a lot of different things, but my, my emphasis is to get people well naturally. And I use a variety of different things, mostly my hands, but um, I do things like auriculotherapy and uh, spinal decompression, some other things just to help people. But, you know, people lose sight of the fact that the body really is an amazing mechanism. And it was made by an infinite intelligence. And it has an inborn intelligence to take care of itself. So what I do is remove an obstruction or restore balance back hmm. to the system in, in order for the body to take care of itself. That's it in a nutshell, really. And that's a great point of view yeah. that we can heal ourselves. And you sometimes really we might need some help. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mentioned auriculotherapy. What, what is that? Well, besides utilizing my hands to restore balance, uh, the problem is if somebody has been out of balance a long time, then the healing is interfered with. So what auriculotherapy does is it, it, it stimulates healing. It jump starts healing. It was developed by a medical doctor outside of Paris. It's used quite a bit in France. Mm. Medical doctors utilize it, but it's treating the body through reflex points, okay. specifically reflex points in the ear. Most people have heard about um, reflexology, foot reflexology. Right. It's that type of principle, except um, it's utilizing specific points that Dr. Nogier uh, mapped out over his, his research, over his um, uh, developing this, this therapy, utilizing a specialized instrument. And once mm. a point is found that corresponds to a part of the body that's not functioning properly, then a mild electrical stim is introduced into the point to stimulate healing. Very cool. Yeah, it is very cool. So obviously people can't do chiropractic care at home or auriculotherapy at home, but what is something that someone could do at home to just improve their health and well-being? 
I think the problem, people ask me this all the time, well, what exercise can I do to improve the body? And in, in my 20 years of experience, what really throws the body out of balance is stress. Mm -hmm. It's some type of stress. It's a physical, chemical, or emotional stress. Right. So the best thing to help the body is to help it handle stress. And the best way to, to, to do that is through meditation. Okay, well, we're going to have to swing back around and talk about meditation yes. in another interview. Sure. But I wanted to thank you for having me. Oh, great suggestions. Yeah. I love your point of view about it's energy in the body. The body is amazing. It is amazing. So next time, if you'd like to get, first of all, if you'd like to get more information on Dr. Malone and Marblehead Chiropractic, you can visit his website, marbleheadchiropractic.com. And next time, we're going to be talking about energy in the body. And I know I have a full and active life, so... Any tips or suggestions you have about boosting up energy is going to be very welcome. So take care and we'll see you next time.